Okay, some people are wanting to know what the difference is between a free form dreadlock and a manicured dreadlock or um, clean cut type of dreadlock. Well, um, in some ways, uh, if you think about it, a clean, uh, a clean manicured look when it comes to dreadlocks. Uh, is where someone is really doing maintenance all the time. Uh, they are trying to keep their parts very clean and seeable, uh, noticeable um, to others and themselves. Um, in order to get that look, you really, really have to do maintenance a lot. Um, dreadlocks, uh, your hair naturally is going to want to go into other sections of the other dreadlocks because of how our hair grows. It has a mind of its own. So in order to keep that hair going exactly where you want it to go, you have to do maintenance all the time. Um, some textures of hair uh, seem to do better than others as far as this goes. Um, it really matters, uh, based on the type of hair, how often you, uh, go to your loctician, uh, whether you're doing it yourself, um, people in your family doing it for you, uh, whatever. But, um, it's very, very, it can be very expensive and it's very time consuming to do that, but it does give you a cleaner look. Um, there are a lot of women that I know uh, that really want that perfect dreadlock. Like, it's, they want it straight. They want it, you just, all even and everything. Um, this can be bad in some kind of ways. Not only... Um, a lot of times you have to use product, not all the time, but most of the time, you have to use product to get uh, the flyaways, the fuzz, uh, things of like that in order to have this crisp, perfect dreadlock. Um, so therefore, you're causing more uh, build up, um, and potentially more damage to your dreadlock itself. Um, now, so really there's pros and cons to that. Um, now a, a free form dreadlock is where you just kind of let your hair go. You let it go. Um, basically to me, and how I have been taught uh, from people that I know that have had dreadlocks and just through time. Um, freeform can, the spectrum can start in these two areas. Either A, you just don't wash your hair and you just don't do anything to it and you just let it go and it mats up on its own. Um, I don't necessarily think that that is really how it goes <laughs> because in order to get dreadlocks you have to section it at some point uh, so you just don't have one dreadlock growing right here or one dreadlock growing right here from just moving your head around uh, people get knots back there all the time so I have seen this um, from a ponytail that has like not been taken out for a long time uh, that turned into one dreadlock. I've seen this in person. So, that being said, um, freeform dreadlocks. Freeform dreadlocks to me is where at one point in the very beginning you decided that you wanted dreadlocks so you parted your hair the best way you know how or the best way someone could get it done and you just let your hair grow from there. Uh, after teasing it, maybe twist and rip a little bit, 
no crochet method and you just let your hair fly. Um, every once in a while, you might have to, you know, tease it, palm roll it a little bit. You might be fiddling with it every once in a while. And after, I mean, just over time, it just does its own thing. Um, and they freeform locks look so much wilder, more just dreadlockish, you know. I mean, dreadlocks are dreadlocks, granted, but dreadlocks were never meant to be perfect. Like, never. They've never meant to be perfect. Um, from my opinion, from, from my growing up, when I seen dreadlocks on in movies and in pictures and in history, I realized how unperfect they were. And that's what made them so awesome to me and mysterious. And I just thought they were so like, oh, how do you do that? And then when you seen, for example, um, you have corn, you know, these freaking rock bands and heavy metal bands and you see all these awesome freaking you know locks and you're like gosh but they're they're like perfect as in more straight and just wild and so we have this more straight type of lock that are uniform throughout the whole head which means the same throughout the whole head so, you know, to me, I mean, I liked both, but, um, I have a little bit, personally, I have a lot of both going on right now. Um, I have synthetics, I have, uh, my real dreadlocks, I have, um, have had to crochet in virgin hair to my real dreadlocks because of damage. Um, I've got just a lot going on in there. Um, so, you know, but I do not do root maintenance. Not, not really. Like, you know, uh, you're going to have breakage, especially like around the perimeter. If you let your hair go, like I have, um, but that's what I like. I don't want, I don't want my parts to show. I don't want that. I like the more natural, just, I like to let my hair go. Um, not only do I like to let it go, uh, because I do have some synthetics in there, which I plan on taking out. Um, I want to see what my hair can do. You know, I want to see what it is gonna do on its own. I've had to take a lot of my hair off, uh, you know, in the, in my neck area. I had buzzed it. I had this buzzed on the side, so I've had to use synthetic locks to make it look like it's long. My hair is naturally starting to dry lock there, um, so I'm not really gonna need uh, synthetics anymore. So really, I just want to see what my hair is going to do on its own. Um, but these are things that um, people are curious about. Um, there is, there is, you know, within like the dreadlock community, um, people that freeform use the freeform method versus the manicured method, uh, you do see a little bit of which one's better than the other, you know? There's no better than the other. It's all in what you want. Um, so, ignore that. You know, uh, it's 2022. Um, our time is different than the past time. We're living right now. We're not living then. Things are different. Times have changed. Do what you want with your locks, no matter what anyone else does to their locks. 
the history, the whatever. We are history right now. We are living history. This video was made in history by the time you watch it. So, do what you want with your locks. It does not matter. If you want the freeform look, go for the freeform look. I wish I could have done the freeform look. But then if I was doing the freeform look, guess what? I probably would have wanted the more manicured look. We always want what we can't have. And if we have it, we wish we would have done it the other way. So nobody is really satisfied. They might be for a little while, but we always want something different. A lot of the times. Not all the time, but a lot of the times. This is part of being human. So have fun. That's all I got.